hi all welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am here with a cpt video uh, it is from chapter digestive system and the topic is hernia repair as we all know uh, we have some major changes in the portion of hernia and the her hernia repair cpt codes in 2023 uh, that many of the codes are deleted and many other additional codes are added in hernia portion so before moving to the codes uh, first of all, I will tell you what is hernia. Hernia is the abnormal protrusion of organ or tissue through walls of cavity in which it is naturally contained. So, hernia, it is the abnormal bulging or a protrusion of organ or tissue through the walls of cavity in which it is naturally contained. That is, it means it is an abnormal bulging through the weaker muscles or the weaker space of the body. Okay. So, hernia, they are of different types. Uh, so, now I am explaining here as what is mentioned in the book, that the, in the CPT book, the types of hernia is mentioned as inguinal hernia, femoral hernia, lumbar hernia, omphalocele, anterior abdominal and parastomal. Okay, these are named based on their locations. Okay, uh, inguinal hernia means they will be located in the inguinal region. You can see in the figure that I have given the inguinal hernia, femoral hernia, umbilical hernia is same as umphalocele. Okay, like that. So, these are the types of hernias. The, before moving on to the quotes, we will discuss some more, ter, uh, some more terms which you can see uh, in the quote, quote description. So, uh, I will explain you what is that. First one is initial hernia as well as recurrent hernia. So, uh, as the name indicate, what is initial hernia? If the hernia happens for the first time, it is called initial hernia. And once it is repaired and the uh, hernia occurs again, then it is called recurrent hernia. Okay, repeatedly happening, it is called recurrent hernia. If it is for the first time, it is called initial hernia. Next two terms are reducible hernia, incarcerated hernia, strangulated hernia. So, what is reducible hernia? Reducible hernia means where the physician can be manually reduce the hernia okay that means if we pull back the hernia it will go to its original position okay that is called as reducible hernia it can be reduced okay then what is incarcerated hernia if it cannot be reduced manually or if the physician cannot manipulate it means it is incarcerated hernia okay uh, in the question it will be either uh, specify as reducible or incarcerated or uh, it will be gave, given as uh, when it is pulled back, it is gone to the original um, space means it is reducible. If it is not, means it is incarcerated. Okay, next is, uh, term is strangulated. Uh, the incarcerated hernia can convert to strangulated. The strangulated means there the blood supply cuts off and it becomes an ischemic area. Okay, the hernia where there is no blood supply and it becomes in, uh, ischemic means that is called strangulated. Okay, so now let's see how to pick a code for hernia. So when you get a question of hernia, the first point that you have to notice, identify the type of hernia. I have already mentioned many types of hernia, inguinal, femoral, lumbar, anterior abdominal, like that. So you have to identify what type of hernia is indicated, mentioned in the question. Okay, so for each type we have uh, different different set of codes. So first we will come to inguinal hernia. Okay, so if you are in your question, if it is inguinal hernia means first you need to identify if it is a initial inguinal hernia or recurrent inguinal hernia. Okay, in question it will be given as initial or uh, if it is occurring re repeatedly means it is recurrent. Okay, so first identify initial or recurrent. Then if it is initial means next point is you have to identify the age. Okay, because in the codes you can see as uh, preterm up to 6 months, uh, then uh, term birth up to 6 months, then pre uh, from 6 months to 5 years, uh, like that, from 5 years or older, like that, uh, according to age it is divided, the codes are divided. Okay, so if it is inguinal hernia, first you have to look if it is initial or recurrent, then if it is initial you have to identify the age, then after identify the age, you can see if it is reducible or incarcerated or strangulated. Okay, so here the codes are given as I have mentioned in four bulletins.
so here the difference in these four code sets are their age okay uh, if you look at 49491 code description in your book you can see it is the uh, repair of a inguinal hernia initial for preterm infant that too from birth up to 50 weeks post conception age okay that is 49491 it is reducible and uh, 49492 is the same condition for incarcerated or strangulated then moving on to 49495 it is repair of initial inguinal hernia it is either for full term infant younger than age 6 months or for preterm infant older than 50 weeks post conception age and younger than age 6 months okay then that is for reducible then 49496 is for uh, incarcerated or strangulated next one is 49500 uh, it is also for repair of initial inguinal hernia here the age is from 6 months to uh, less than 5 years ok then uh, it is for reducible the same code description for incarcerated or strangulated it is 49501 then the next sect is repair of initial inguinal hernia above 5 years ok the code is 49505 for reducible and 49507 for incarcerated or strangulated all these four sets of codes that I have so far discussed is for initial inguinal hernia Next one is inguinal hernia, uh, but it is if, but if it is recurrent, okay. So if it is recurrent means uh, we we need not have to consider age. Even if it is any age, we have only two codes that is four nine five two zero for reducible and four nine five two one for incarcerated or strangulated. Okay, that's all for inguinal hernia, the first type of hernia. Next one is lumbar hernia. So, in the question, if you get it as a lumbar hernia, then you have only one code. You need not, uh, you need not look for the age or uh, reducible or that you need not consider. The code is 49540. Then the next type is femoral hernia. If your question is femoral hernia, uh, you need not consider the age, but you have to look if it is initial or recurrent. Okay. So, for initial uh, the codes are 49550 and 553. 550 is for reducible, 553 is for incarcerated or strangulated. Then for recurrent femoral hernia, the codes are 49555 and 49557. That is 49555 for reducible and 49557 for incarcerated or strangulated. Uh, next type is anterior abdominal hernia. Anterior abdominal hernia are of many types. It can be epigastric, incisional, ventral, umbilical, spagalian and it can be any approach that is it can be a laparoscopic approach or a open approach or robotic approach and also it includes implantation of mesh okay all these are included in this code set that i am going to explain okay so if in your question you get uh, a hernia repair of a ventral hernia or an incisional hernia or an empicastric hernia means you have to look in the coming set of codes okay so here mesh placement is included that is very important because in the previous book that is up to 2022 for mesh placement we have to code separately but now it is included in the code itself okay so if it is an anterior abdominal hernia question then you have to look for initial as well as initial or recurrent and if it is initial means identify if it is reducible or incarcerated and then you have to look for the length because in this type it is divided on the basis of length okay so the first set of code is 49591 to 49592 that is less than 3 centimeter 49591 is for reducible 49592 is for incarcerated or strangulated then next one is 3 centimeter to 10 centimeter if your anterior abdominal hernia is measuring in between 3 cm to 10 cm means you have two codes 49593 for reducible and 49594 for incarcerated or strangulated. Now if the co if the length of the hernia is measuring more than 10 cm means you have two set of codes 49595 for reducible and 49596 for incarcerated. Okay, this is the case for initial abdominal hernia repair that is uh, for example initial ventral hernia repair or initial incisional hernia repair. Okay, whatever be the approach. Then now coming on to anterior abdominal hernia repair of recurrent type means they are also the same. You have to identify if it is reducible or incarcerated then you have to identify the length 
Uh, then everything is same. If it is less than 3 cm means the core is 4 and 613 for reducible, 614 incarcerated. Then 3 cm to 10 cm means 49615 for reducible, 49616 for incarcerated. Then if the measurement is greater than 10 cm means 49617 to 49618. Okay. Then the type is parastomal hernia. If in your question, if the type of hernia is parastomal means whatever be the approach, it can be open laparoscopic or robotic. Uh, even if it is initial or recurrent, we, he, we have only two codes, 49621 for reducible and 49622 for recurrent, uh, rec sorry, strangulated or incarcerated. Then both these codes include the implantation of mesh. Okay. So that's all for repair of hernia. I will give a summary. So if you get a question of hernia, first you have to identify the type of hernia. Uh, that is inguinal or femoral or lumbar or parastomal or anterior abdominal. You have to identify that. Then if it is inguinal hernia means you have to look for the age. Then you have to code accordingly. Then if you have a femoral hernia means uh, you have to identify if it is initial or uh, if it is recurrent. Then you have to code accordingly. Then if it is lumbar hernia means you have only one code. Then if it is anterior abdominal means you have to code according to the measurement or length of the hernia then if it is parastomal hernia means you have to take that code okay so hope it is clear for you thank you